doing his thing to um, um, marry um, gay couples, um, and he had some charges brought against him. I believe eventually they were all dropped. He, he lost his bid for re-election the first time, but you know when he re uh, ran the second time, he was he was elected again. But you know that's that's something you know really like specific and concrete that a green office holder is able to do to support that community. Another. Um, person who comes to mind is I think of Richmond, that's a sanctuary city um, for um, undocumented individuals and um, uh, the mayor of Richmond is Gail, Gail McLaughlin who is a Green. So, um, you know, those are two examples right there. A another just quick example of an accomplishment that a Green office holder was able to do, it doesn't necessarily um, pertain to um, um, historical marginalized groups, but um, um, San Francisco was the first uh, city in the country to ban plastic bags, and that legislation was brought forward by uh, Ross McGreeny, who was a, a Korean Party office holder on the, the Board of Supervisors at the time. So um, I think it's really important for us to remind ourselves and to remind the public of the um, historic accomplishments that green office holders um, have been able to accomplish and can continue to accomplish in the future if we support them. Thank you.